Hi everyone and welcome in my another Photoshop tutorial. My name is Marcin and today I'm going to teach you how to create stunning HDR effect in Photoshop. As you can see that's my final result which I think really looks impressive. Uh, to create this mostly I used Photoshop and just at the end I used plugin called Topaz Details which is really awesome and I highly recommend that. So let's start everything from the beginning. As you can see, it's not really a long process. It's a very simple result. It's a very simple effect. And it's a very quick way to get into this effect. So let me start everything from the beginning. At first, I have to delete all the layers. As you can see, that's the image I started with. It, it doesn't look well compared to the image uh, I showed you before. So from this image we gonna we're going to edit this image to get that effect you've seen uh, before. At first duplicate background layer. I'm going to call this black and white. The thing is uh, this image for me has too many colors so I'd like to desaturate this a little bit so click image adjustments and desaturate and change opacity into 30% I think it's totally enough the second step is selective color I want to improve a little bit um, sky area, all the white areas on the image, that's why I'm going to use selective colors. Click the small icon on the bottom, then select selective color. As you can see, um, you have different colors to choose to edit on your image. I'm going to edit on whites, neutrals and black colors. About whites, as you can see, I select whites and at the bottom we have black. We're going to edit only this as you can see. And you can, when you take down uh, black color from white, as you can see, your image will be very, very bright. Actually, I don't think it's a very good idea. So I will add plus 10. Then change into neutrals and the same as you can see. From neutrals, I'm going to at minus 20 and blacks you can take down but I think it's not really good idea plus 5 not too much as you see the difference uh, there is a difference and I think now we got some more details we take down some contrast which is really important on HDR effect Second step, it's brightness and contrast. I want to take down contrast minus 50. Um, it's really important um, in AGR effect, you have to take down all the contrast um, to bring up all the details later and take down brightness. The reason why I'm taking this down because I'm going to bright this image a little bit later using shadows and highlight mode. And now I'm going to add some really nice filter as I don't want these colors on this image. The filter will be just blue filter. Click photo filter, select color. This bluish color I think looks really nice. 25% it's, um, it's fine for me. So okay, we finished our first, um, uh, we can say, uh, first step now uh, time to go to something more serious press shift control add and e or shift command add and e if you're using macbook i'm going to call this layer shadows highlights click right and convert to smart object because now if we add any effect into this layer it will be like as a it will be as a separate effect um, and we have a possibility to edit this effect later on. 
click image adjustments and select shadow highlights as I said as you see it brights our image a little bit so at first we need to bright our shadows to bring up all the details from shadows of course you don't have to use um, the same persons uh, as I used here you can uh, put a little bit more or a little bit less it depends which image you edit of course every image is different um, different brightness different colors so I cannot say exactly um, which uh, settings you have to use here just do this uh, to make it fit for you be careful with highlights because actually when we take down highlights I'm going to show you this as you see we're gonna get this um, not really nice edges actually if you like them it's fine but I don't like these edges so you have to be a little bit careful about this but to remove these edges we can add a lot of radius and it makes these edges really soft color correction I'm going to take down and bring up some mid-tones contrast around 20 and okay there's some difference it's getting look better and better and now I'm going to do this once again shadows highlights you can use different um, things now like I just need to add a little bit more of this and okay it looks um it looks uh, nice at the moment there's huge difference between this and our previous image and we are nearly done but um, our final step the last step is plugins uh, I'm going to use topaz details which I used in a few of my previous tutorials uh, you can download trial version for 30 days online totally for free and actually if you would like to buy topaz details it's not really expensive I think around 40 or 30 dollars um, but of course it's better to try at first download free trial version and it gives you really awesome effects on your image that's why I'm using this actually so let's um, create a stamp once again shift Control add and E on Windows shift command add and E on MacBook I'm going to call this layer Topaz click right convert to smart object once again and now I'm going to Topaz Details, Topaz Labs, Topaz Detail 3. It's really slow at the moment. I just get new computer as always so I have to set everything and as you see in topaz details I'm going to start with overall there's no sense to shadows highlights I think as a it's just our um, final editing and I'm going to edit this as a overall everything at once I have some options here but just add overall detail I'm going to keep small details and small details both the reason why because small details are really unnecessary and it's giving us this very destructive effect I don't like this effect at all that's why I'm not using small details and I'm going to start everything with medium details actually if you don't like you can even drag down a little bit of small details it's a uh, small details never the look it's nice it gives you this really destructive effect let's start with medium details I'm going to add 0 0.08 and the same about both 0 
it won't be too destructive just a little bit and the main thing is large details I add ar about around 0 0.15 and large detail boss around 0 0.2 maybe maybe a little bit more here and it gives us really really nice as you can see HDR effect the details are really nice but we are not done yet now it's time to go to tones and we have options like exposure you can take it down if the image is too bright for you or bring it up if you would like to add some lines I'm going to take it down just a little bit bring up some contrast maybe but not too much as well the same with highlights I'm going to bring up some highlights on the sky take down some shadows this time and actually that would be all we don't have to use all of this we did everything before actually Topaz details just is to our final retouch then go to color and I really enjoy cold temperature so take it down a little bit to minus 0 0.8 I add some saturation maybe and saturation boost a little bit and that would be all let's apply and okay then press okay and there you go the simplest HDR effect it's really nice really awesome I like this effect to make it a bit more specific you can use um, Dutch and burn tool to burn his hands to add some uh, more contrast but that's the most basic effort that enchants your colors very basic stunning HDR effect it's the best way for me to get this. Thank you for watching this tutorial and see you soon in the next Photoshop tutorial.